What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys the GOAT of Ghost type Pokemon. We got ourselves Gengar for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to Gengar, this Pokemon is super frail, but on the other side, it hits like an absolute truck. So we're trying it out in regulation H. Hopefully this Pokemon is back. Hopefully we can get some work done and grab us some wins on the rank ladder. But let's talk about this build a little bit more. It is a ghost and poison type Pokemon with a dark terror type. It's got cursed body with the focus sash as item, Rock and Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot for that plus two boost in special attack. And last but not least, we got will o -Wisp, Burn Physical Attackers. Such a good move, such a good Pokemon. Cannot wait to use him on the ranked ladder. But other Pokemon on today's team features Imprison in DD so we can cancel out Trick Room. We also have Life Orb Gallade with Sharpness. Can do a lot of damage. We got Volcarona, we got Primarina, we got Whimsicott. Volcarona can set up Quiver Dance, be a good special attacker. It can also support your team with Rage Powder and Primarina can set up Calm Mind. And just like Volcarona, it could be a great special attacker. Whimscott's here for support, can set up Tailwind, can taunt and post Pokemon, Energy Ball for a little bit of damage. Last but not least, we got Encore. Encore is just such a good move. You can Encore people into Fake Out or even into like setup moves, just allowing them not to attack your team. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Remember the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Gengar in ranked regulation H. Okay, okay, Flygon team here at match number one. Haven't seen Flygon a good bit. Definitely a Pokemon I would love to showcase on the channel. They have T-Tar to pair it up, get that Sandstorm rolling. On top of that, they got Rillaboom, Incineroar, Primarina, and Golden Go. Now, who should we lead and how should we get after? Because we have no weather control, not a lick of it. Not a lick of weather control. I could go Gengar here. I could go into you with the Covert Cloak. Wouldn't be bad, especially with both of these guys. So I am going to go Gengar. I am going to go Wimscott here. Um... How else should I play this one? Who else should I go into? I like them for the lead. They could just go straight Sandstorm. I do like Primarina. Maybe I might lead Primarina instead of anything else. Instead of Gengar. Nah, we're just going to bring Primarina back in. And then last but not least, probably Galade. I think Galade could definitely get after it. I know they got a few Dark types, but I got Sacred Sword, man. Sacred Sword could do some nice damage. I like it. I'm all about it. So Sacred Sword going to come in here with Gallade, Sharpness, all that good stuff. Let's see if we can grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But definitely Sandstorm is going to be a little bit of an issue for me considering it takes off Gengar's Focus Ash. And on top of that, again, not a lick of weather control on this team. So we're going to have to deal with it. So fingers crossed. No T-Tar for the lead. I wouldn't mind them bringing T-Tar, but not for the lead. Not for the lead at all. It's going to be Golden going Flag. Okay, so they can swap into weather control if they want to. Um... A little bit of speed cooking. They're probably going to terrestrialize. Uh, they're probably just going to terrestrialize uh, Golden Go. And I feel as from here, we should just like attack. We should straight up just attack. So I'm going to do that. And do I have Nasty Pot set up here? I kind of want to. I kind of want to. I could go Shadow Ball in this slot, but I feel like they're going to swap or terrestrialize. I'm just going to attack this Flygon. I'm going to double down this Flygon. There's Terror type So yeah, Terror type going to pop out here. Good thing I didn't Nasty Plot. Nice little attack in here. Unless they double down in the Gengar. It could be a little real, little rough. But I don't mind this. I mean, now you're weak to fighting moves. I can get Glade out here after this. Could just be going for Maker Rain to KO me. Definitely going to be tough. Flygon is going to help in hand. You can't help in hand your Golden Go. That's still going to KO my Wimscott, which is a tad bit sad. But I still feel as speed is on her side. So Shadow Ball going to launch. Let's see how much damage we can do here. And it's decent. We almost pick up the KO. Make it Rain's gonna fly. We're gonna say bye bye to Wimscott. I was really hoping the Golden Go would swap. But Gengar's gonna sash up. That's big time damage from him. I do sash up. I don't get off a Tailwind. I kind of wish I did. But my Pokemon are still decently fast, so. Can't complain. I definitely can't complain. I definitely can't complain. The special attack's dropping. I think now's a good time for us to ju just go into Glade. Especially how fast are you, Glade? 132. Should be fashion golden go. You should be fashion golden go. I really hope you are, because that could be big time for us. I could wide guard this turn, but I just think Sacred Sword could just pick up a simple KO. So I'm gonna send it. I am gonna send a nice lovely Sacred Sword. Or I could just uh wide guard and then KO you. But no, I think Sacred Sword can KO, so I'm thinking we can probably possibly pick up the double KO. Let's give it a go here. So Shadow Ball's gonna launch. Bye bye Flygon. Get it on out my face. 
And if Sacred Sword can pick up the KO, this is really good for us. Gengar and Glee can get things started off hot here. And you outspeed me. I should just Y guard a Shadow Ball. You outspeed me, really? Blade does soak that, which is good news. But at the same time, it's like, oh man. I really want it. Glade and Gengar in the field. I wonder how much faster you are than me. It's gotta be only a couple speed points. Sacred Sword gonna launch. Bop. See you later, Golden Go. One shot that. And I get a crit, but I think we're KOing. So now we have Primarina, we have Gallade on the field. I do have Wide Guard if we need it. I got Primarina with Throat Spread, which is actually really good, but we just need a little bit of speed. That's why that Tailwind would have been so big for us. I definitely should have set up Tailwind instead of going into Energy Ball, but I really didn't think they were going to stay on the field with uh, Golden Go. The Primarina comes out here. Incineroar is going to come out here as well. Um, they can fake out one or the other. And Titar, okay. I would think they want to go for like Rock Slide and Fake Out. I wish I'd Protect, but. Hmm. I really do wish we had Protect. But I gotta go for Sacred Sword here. Four times super effective. And then just go for a nice little Hyper Voice. We go for Calm Mind, but I think Hyper Voice is definitely the play. Get this Throat Spray, boost it, get some damage off on the field. They can't Terrasalize, which is great news. I can, though. I can if I want to. And honestly, I. Didn't even check the tarot types, and I probably should have. Because one of them could have had Ghost. Don't yell at me, guys. I use different teams every single day, so I don't know all the teams just yet. He's going to end up protecting Titar. That's fine. Are you going for Fake Out, or are you going, going to just take out Glade? I am going to get my Throat Spray popping. He is going to go for Fake Out, and that's going to KO me. Wow, 29 damage. I mean, that combined with Buffets probably would have KO'd me regardless, but... Every Voice is going to launch. I do get my Throat Spray boosted, which is good news. I actually think Primarina can outspeed both of these guys, which would be massive. Which would definitely be massive. And no Barry pops out from Incineroar? No, wow. Wow, unless he's got like the Figgy or... No, he's got Safety Goggles. He's got Safety Goggles. So, Primarina does have the perfect Water Terror type. I am going to send it now. And look to get after it. I'm hoping Primarina could just outspeed and just win the game for us. Let's see. Let's see, because if it outspeeds, it's definitely doing half damage to this. To this T-Tar, right? I know T-Tar's in the Sandstorm. It probably has Assault Vest. But, I mean, Hyper Voice plus one. Stab with Terra Boost. Could definitely come up clutch. Could definitely make it do some big time damage. But, not a bad match for us so far. I mean, Gengar got ripped up by that, uh... By that golden go, but to be honest, he got off two very valuable turns, getting rid of the Flygon, doing some nice damage, or Whimsicott got dumped on just by doing an energy ball. I really wish I would have set up a tailwind because this match would have been ten times easier for us if we had speed. If we had speed, it would have been over. I should have set up a tailwind turn one. That's all me. That's my mistake. So we'll go end up going into a terror type. I believe Primarina should outspeed these two. And it does. Cool. So everybody's gonna launch. We're gonna say bye bye to Incineroar. Is this gonna double KO? It almost does. So we have to soak up one shot. And enough for two buffets in case it just wants to like protect out here. But he's gonna end up going for a dr at ooh, ooh, a D dance comes out here. Oh no. You might outspeed me now. You might be able to pick up KO. We just have to legit soak up the shot. We just have to soak up the shot. Or if we outspeed, but I doubt we outspeed after Dragon Dance boost. But yo, Dragon Dance, that's scary. Titar's gonna end up protecting. Ship up a little bit more with buffets. Oh, no, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, T-Tar, chill. Yo, chill, T-Tar. I know you're plus one. I know you're, I know you're letting Buffett's chip me up a little bit. But Primarina, you're at 128 HP. I expect you to soak this. What is it, Rock Slide? It's got to be Rock Slide. You got to soak. Do not flinch. You die? Man. That's a heartbreaker here, match number one. That's a heartbreaker. Moving on to our second match. I don't even want to talk about that first one. We're sitting 0-1 and we're going up against an Indeedy Arm Rouge and a Ninetales Typhlosion Sun team. Can do a lot of work. Again, this team doesn't have a lick of weather control, so we're going to have to figure out ways around this. I mean, Primarina could be pretty good, especially with the Throat Spray. But the problem here is like the sun negates water damage. I could go into Volcarona. I mean, Volcarona wouldn't be bad, especially setting up like a Quiver Dance. And just like heat wave it away with like a Water Terra. That could be pretty good. Um... Hmm. I could go into like Psychic Seeds and Didi. And just like maybe Trick Room here if we, if we want to. 
I could go into Gallade, but I think taking Speed Control is going to be definitely what we want. So I'm going to go Wimscott turn one here. Um, do we think they set up Trick Room? I mean, they could. They could set up Trick Room. Definitely a possibility. Um, I think we should go into Primarine in that case. Just set up a Combine. So I'm going to go do those two. I'm going to bring Gengar here. And I am going to go in with Gallade. I think Gallade's just solid across the board. Yeah, if they want to go into like Armourish and Didi here instead of imprisoning it, we'll just set up a Combine with our Primarina. Just try to start boosting that, that bad boy up. Or maybe just go for like a Hyper Voice. Get off some damage. That really depends what they want to do there. But yeah, I just feel as like a nice little Combine boost could definitely help us out on a special attack side. I can always taunt. Actually, I can't taunt because it would there would be Psychic Terrain. Let's just go Ninetales Typhlosion anyway. So Ninetales Typhlosion comes out here. Um... Wimscott, we're just going to sacrifice it for a Tailwind. Let's be honest here. We are so just sacrificing this thing for a Tailwind. So I'm going to go into Tailwind. I could Combine. I could go into Hyper Voice. I'm going to see how much damage Hyper Voice can do. Because I'd rather get off at least a little bit of damage here. Considering if Typhlosion wants to go for Eruption, that's like, oh man. That's a problem. And honestly, Typhlosion still might outspeed me. Because it's probably Choice Scarf. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. It's probably Choice Scarf. So Sun comes out here. Tailwind's gonna launch. A little bit of Tailwind action. Primarina, you out Sweden? You are? Okay, that's good news. Hyper Voice doing respectable damage. That's respectable damage, especially if Typhlosion wants to go for an eruption. And this is in the Sun. He's gonna go for an Energy Ball. You have Energy Ball, really? Really, you have Energy Ball? Are you erupting here as well? You are erupting. Primarina should soak this. Woman's got not so much. Yeah, so Primarina soaks. That's actually, uh, I'll take this turn all day because I know Primarina outspeeds now. Hyper Voice is going to be able to do more damage than it did. Um, and I'm really hoping Hyper Voice can just KO somebody like Typhlosion. Because if Hyper Voice can do that. I'm going to save my Gengar. Actually, should I, I think I should save my Galade. We got Sash on you. Alright, so I'm hoping Hyper Voice can just KO. Do I Water Terra and Nancy Pot? Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make a play. I'm gonna make a play here. I'm gonna Water Terra Hyper Voice. Look for the double KO and set up a Nancy Pot Gengar. That's the play. That's the play. I might I might just did something big. I might just did something did something big. Even in the sun, this is still hitting hard. This is still hitting hard. I might have just did something. I might have just did something. The nasty pot plus two. If this double KOs, we still have our focus ash and we're plus two. Go ahead, pre. Go ahead, pre. Do it, pre. Come on now, double KO. Let's go. Good call on my end. Great call on my end. Not even just a good call. That's a great call on my end. We got Tailwind set up now. We got rid of two of their Pokemon. I got Nasty Plot Gengar at full HP with Focus Ash. Come on, man. Solid play for us. Now this thing's hitting like an absolute 18 wheeler. This is legit hitting like a cruise ship that it, that car goes to 18 wheelers. Like, and so it has like 50 on, on them. So Gengar's just here to play. He's just here to do damage at this point. But that was a great call on my end. Go straight in that water tower. Make sure that both of them die out there. Hit that Hyper Voice, which was now plus one. And then get my Gengar set up on the other side. And I already have Tailwind. See, this is why last match I should have just set up Tailwind with uh, Wimscott and just sacrificed it. I should have just did that. See, we learned from our mistakes here on the Jeans channel. We learned from our mistakes. That's exactly what we did in this match. We just sacrificed it. We let it rip through. But he's going to end up going into Komo. -O. Now, Komo -O can go into a Steel Terror. Superior is going to come out here as well. I could Sludge Bomb that down. And just, you know... Get rid of that, and I think that is going to be my play. Just go for Sludge Bomb, and probably just go for like a Moon Blast in this slot. I might double down to Superior. Superior. Now we'll throw this. We'll switch sides here. Let's see who's going to end up Terrasalizing. It's got to be Komo, right? Which I don't mind if it's Komo, correct? Oh, it's going to be Superior. Fire? Ground. A little bit of ground typing. I still think Sludge Bomb can KO. Let's see. Sludge Bomb launching. Nope. Poison, though. 
We have Sash, which is good news. Come out, we probably got to take out the uh, the pre, right? Moonblast might actually take you out. Yeah, it does. Good, good thing we went one on one. He's probably attacking the Gengar with like terrible ass ground. And I got Focus Sash. Yep, there it is. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Focus Sash popping here. Now it's a little 2v1 action. Actually, 3v1. We have our back end Pokemon. We still have our Gallade with Life Orb. We got the poison on this Pokemon. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Nice. If we actually would have just Shadow Ball, we would have KO'd, but we're chilling. Hyper Voice. Shadow Ball flying. He's going to stay in here. Gengar's going to pick up the final KO. So now we're sitting one and one. We bounce back here in match number two. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in our third and final match. Final match is here, and we're going up against an odd team. Is that Minor? Is that how you pronounce that? Minor? I'm not too sure. I never see that Pokemon anywhere, except for in like Pokemon Snap. But we're ready to go. They got Tinkaton. They got Tatsugiri by itself, Sinisha, and Cinderace. Okay. I'm here for this. I honestly don't know what typing that little star thing is. But we're just going to guess like normal and maybe rock. That looks like a rock, right? I don't know. I'm not too sure. They got Fake Out with Tinkaton. I could just go into Whimsicott to set up Tailwind. I got Cobra Cloak. Um, I could go into Pre this game. Pre Marine is going to be great yet again. Actually, uh, what's it called? It could be Storm Drain. Tatsugiri. I might just leave Gengar. Just such a fast, speedy Pokemon. I like it. We'll go Gallade, and then we will go Prima Arena. So, I think we brought the same squad in here all three matches today, but it's all good. It's all good. We're pretty much just here to showcase Gengar and Regulation Age, and this thing is kicking it so far. Doing big time damage in match number one. And in match number two, we just set up a mean, nasty pot with that thing. Made a good call to Thrasslice our Prima Arena, and just win the match from there. Let's see who they end up going into. It is going to be Cincino and Minior. Is that how you pronounce it? Minior? I don't even know what typing that is, but he looks cool. Shields down. That's... I, I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know what that does. I don't know what he does. He's rocking flying. Okay. I really don't know what that does. I really have no idea. And I could set up a Tailwind, but I think we should have some speed. I could taunt you because I do... I have no idea what these Pokemon do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that's Encino's support. And I'm just going to taunt that. And I'm going to rip Shadow Ball into his mini or slot. Let's do it. So I'm going to taunt. This thing's got to be support, right? It just looks like a support Pokemon. And no, this thing's ripping Rock Blast. All right. That was just a, that was just a guess, a guessing taunt. Are you loaded dice as well? I curse body that. That's good. Does it stop there then? No, it doesn't. So this thing's definitely loaded dice launching five of them at me. We're getting incredibly lucky. The Shadow Ball's going to launch. Not bad damage and shell smash gonna come out here, so this is this is the problem. This thing's gotta be white herbed, correct? I should have taunted him. I taunted the wrong Pokemon. <laughs> I taunted the wrong Pokemon. How dare me. Honestly, we could just encore this bad boy into that. Go ahead, keep doing that. Just lower your defenses. I almost go into a sludge bomb here. Yeah, here, go ahead, do that again. Go ahead, shell smash again. You can shell smash for the rest of the game. We'll deal with you in a little bit. We'll deal with this thing in a little bit. He can keep boosting his speed, but he's gonna just lower his defense now. So next shot he takes, he's he's a goner. <laughs> he's a goner. Go ahead, have fun with that. Have, have fun with shell smash. You wanted to shell smash, not me. You chose to shell shell smash. And I'm surprised you're outspeeding my Gengar now. Did you outspeed it last turn? I think you did. You're a fast little Pokemon. You're a fast little Pokemon. But you keep my Gengar in the field. So that's what I'm going to launch. Bop. Beautiful damage. Give me the poison. Let's go. Let's go. Big time poison. We get rid of you. Um, we got this thing encored in Shell Smash for a little bit. I think I'll just get rid of it next turn. I think I'll just get rid of it. So bye bye, Cincino, with a big time poison from my boy Gengar. And I think now we should just go out into Primarina. Yeah, Primarina's call. Especially while this thing's uh, throat sprayed. He's probably should have faked me out here. But he got the pre. How many turns are left in Shell Smash? That's the real question. Or Encore. Two. Oh my god, it's so pretty. That's so pretty. So we'll just go for Hyper Voice here. 
could just nasty plot because you're probably just gonna fake me out. I'm gonna go for nasty plot. Let's see what he does. No fake out. Okay, cool. So you allow me to get off hyper voice. Cause that was my situation I was in. I was like, you're either gonna fake out the pre marina or allow me to attack. So it's either I get rid of Minior and get my throat spray popping, or I get off an AC plot. Cool. I'll take it all day. Nice plot here. Hopefully you go after pre marina with like a gigaton hammer. That'd be pretty cool. You're gonna actually outspeed my pre marina. How dare you? Yeah, and, oh, and you take out my Gengar with that, and you lower my speed. Ah, I was hoping pre marina would just outspeed. Alright, whatever. Hyper voice launching. Bop. See you later, Miniar. Doing some nice damage to Tinkaton. Um, we do get a crit, and the good thing is my Galate should be faster than Tinkaton. Actually, it might not. Tinkaton's decently fast. But I'm really hoping I can just outspeed it, you know, bop it up with like a secret sword. Alright, so 2v2. We do have Wide Guard ready to go. Gigaton Hammer looking terrifying. And plus one with Pre. Um, Free Marina is slowed one stage. And the final Pokemon's gonna be Cinderace. Cinder Ace coming in hot here. Coming hot. I still have Water Terror, which could be good. Um, I could protect. I still have Steel Terror, which is not that good. Actually, it is pretty good. Just gotta hope you don't go for a fire move, right? <clears throat> I'm gonna Water Terror Hyper Voice. What's gonna do more damage? Sacred Sword or Psycho Cut? Sacred Sword. Sacred Sword into the Tinkathon slot. For the KO? Hopefully. We'll see. He's Terrasalizing. Oh no, it's me Terrasalizing. Me with Terra. Going into Prima Arena. And this is where the game happens. This is this is game right here. This is the this is the pivotal turn in the match. So we're gonna Terrasalize and Pre. Pyro Ball is gonna launch. Delay's gonna dodge. Woo! Baby, we dodge. That's a big time dodge. And Sacred Sword does pick up the KO. So we're gonna win this one regardless if that hit. Unless that KO'd. I don't think it was KO'd. That's the only problem with that. I don't think you were KO'ing my full HP lead. And Hyper Voice is gonna launch. It's gonna finish off this thing. GG to our opponent. So 2 1 for today's video. We pick up another winning record on the rank regulation, regulation H ladder. Regulation H just has been so much fun for me to play. We grab ourselves another winning record going 2-1 using Gengar. Now, that feels fun to say considering in Regulation G, we would have never used Gengars, but we got to use it today. We got to rock out with it. And like I said, grab ourselves a winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.